So I work in media production and one of my like sad secrets is that I'm not really that good at Photoshop. I'm somewhat functional at it. And what I've done is even though I work in media production, I found ways and tools to basically work with other creatives, work with other designers and uh, basically get the job done. So what I wanted to do is share some of the little hacks and tips that I've uh, accumulated over the past years to make sure I can collaborate with people on a creative level. It may seem weird, but especially on Windows, like the whole screenshot process is kind of, you know, annoying sometimes, like the snipping tool isn't just right, or, you know, you have to do some other app and it doesn't work just right for you. So what I actually use a lot is Expert Broadcaster, and this is really handy if you need to get screenshots of games or something like that because of game source. But basically, you know, I compile my scene in Expert Broadcaster, it could be a desktop, whatever, and there's this handy screenshot button, you click it and you have your screenshot. You can actually hotkey bind this to make it a lot easier and make sure to check out expert.com slash capture in the future. There's going to be an even more handy tool for these types of captures, but having an easy, quick way to do screenshots is always very helpful for me especially if I just want to show someone a quick idea or what I'm working on just to give like the thumbs up on what's going on. So a lot of times I work with other designers and creatives and what I need to produce for them is just like some mocks and designs for like event productions and live stream overlays. So what I actually use is Expert Broadcaster to actually compose this. So like I can use like the color mat and the text source to kind of lay out where lower thirds and name bars will go and frames and just do kind of crude mockups, screenshot it and send it over. And I can even simulate animations using presets and source transitions. So like if I want something to fly in a certain way or have a certain timing, I can record these animations and send them over to designers as well. It's really helpful for making storyboards for videos as well. You can kind of simulate some shots and use some B-roll footage. So it's a really great way to start the creative process with the designer and kind of visualize your ideas a bit. So if you really need a graphic in a pinch and you have like no Photoshop skills at all, you can actually use a combination of, you know, color keying, maybe some VCAM for some background removal, layering, cropping the different source settings to make an image. This is really helpful if you need to make a YouTube thumbnail image. We actually did a video kind of covering all that. But basically you compile your graphic however you can, you know, with different layers and cropping, and then you hit the screenshot and then you have your image. And if you save the presentation, you can at least go back and adjust things. But if you need things in a pinch, there's enough sources and elements you can add in XSplit to make a very simple graphic. So if you need a timer for a task or a countdown timer to know when to leave early for lunch or just a regular clock, you can actually use XSplit's text feature. You enable the custom scripts, you enable the clock source, and you can adjust it to different types of time settings. I personally actually like to use the clock function, especially when I'm doing a live production, because I put this on a scene that I send to the host so they can kind of look over at it and make sure that whatever segment they're doing is on time or behind, if they need to speed it up or slow down. It's really helpful for keeping shows on track and making sure the host knows what point they should be at or if they need to wrap up an interview real quick. So there's really like unlimited ways that you can be productive with Expert Broadcaster or really any of the Expert tools. But I wanna know from you, like are there any productivity tips or hacks or tricks that you've picked up in your career? And what was the last piece of software that you use? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Give a like and share this video if it was helpful. And be sure to subscribe for the next time we're in the studio.